You must always cross the road at a zebra crossing. You must also have a companion while crossing the road. Yes, this is essential for our safety. Safety save. First aid. Immediate care or emergency treatment given to an injured or an ill person is called first aid. It is the first temporary treatment given to a person before he or she is taken to the doctor. We should keep a first aid box in our house, in school and even in the office. At the time of any disaster or accident, we should act immediately but remain calm. Once the temporary treatment is given, we should quickly try to arrange for a doctor. Burns Burns are caused due to fire. They could be very severe. In case of minor burn injuries, first put the burnt area under water and then apply ice to the affected area. A paste of baking soda or a toothpaste can be applied to reduce the pain. Fractures Breaking or cracking of bones is called a fracture. A support is given to the broken bone by putting a sling. Physical as well as moral support needs to be extended to the person as he or she may be in great pain and unable to move. Sprain When the tissue around a joint is injured, it is called sprain. It causes swelling. An ice pack must be applied to the affected area. A firm bandage should be tied around the joint to prevent its movement, cuts, wounds and scratches. Uncovered cuts, wounds and scratches are a direct path for germs to enter into the body. You should wash your hands before giving first aid. Clean the affected area with water first and then with antiseptic like Dettol with the help of a cotton swab. After that, apply bandage. Take the victim to a doctor if the cut is severe. In case the skin is being cut by a dirty and rusted object, the victim should be given an anti-tetanus injection to protect from the deadly disease called tetanus. Nose bleeding Nose bleeding is caused due to bursting of blood vessels inside the nose. Make the patient sit on a chair comfortably with his or her head held back. Then apply an ice pack or a wet cloth on the nose of the patient. The patient should be asked to breathe through his or her mouth instead of the nose. Insect bite Insect bite or stings, usually it causes swelling and reddening of affected area. But sometimes it can be life-threatening as some people can have serious allergic reaction to the sting. Honeybees, wasps, hornets and bumblebees are some of the stinging insects. Apply a paste of baking soda with cold cream on the affected area. Animal Bite Humans may get bitten by animals like dogs, cats or monkeys. The wound should not be covered with a bandage. The saliva of the animals, if infected by rabies, contains the virus, which if transferred to other organism through contact or bite, can transmit the disease. Animals like cats, dogs, monkeys and wolves may contain this virus. So we should first wash the affected area with soap and water. After that, we must immediately take the patient to the doctor. The doctor will give anti-rabies injection to prevent the disease rabies. Snake bite When a poisonous snake bites, the poison spreads in the body through the blood. Tie a tight bandage just above the bite to stop the flow of blood to the heart, as it might result in the person's death. 
the patient should be taken to the doctor immediately and given an anti-venom injection. Heat stroke. Heat stroke is a condition in which the body gets overheated due to exposure to high temperature for a long period. The affected person suffers high body temperature, nausea, severe headache, sweating and might faint. The clothes of the patient should first be loosened to enable proper blood flow. He or she should be kept away from hot places. An ice pack should be applied on the neck and on the armpits. Choking Choking can occur when you eat or drink while talking. This happens because food enters the windpipe, making it difficult to breathe. Dehydration Excessive loss of salt and water from the body results in dehydration. ORS or oral rehydration solution is given to the person suffering from dehydration. The ORS packets are easily available in the medical stores. They can be also prepared at home by mixing one fourth teaspoon of salt, three teaspoons of sugar in a glass of water. Fire safety. Fire can cause serious injury or damage if it goes out of control. A fire can break out at home due to electrical faults, gas leaks, careless handling of matchsticks, candles, crackers, etc. Putting out a fire. Fire caused due to electrical faults should be put out using a fire extinguisher or sand. Never use water as it can give you an electric shock. A fire caused due to burning oil should be put out using sand and not water. In this case, water should not be used because oil is lighter than water and will float on it. Hence, the fire will keep on burning. A fire caused due to burning wood or paper can be put out by throwing water.